Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're actually working on the Acura. I believe there is a crack in the radiator. I don't have a way to confirm this because we haven't actually dug into it yet, but it's what I was told. So I actually ended up, oh fuck, I hope that this will actually pop the trunk. Ah, it's electric. All right, well, battery's charging because it's dead right now. But anyways, I have an aluminum radiator in there that you can see it through the glass or something we'll get into it eventually we got a new radiator for the car that i got off amazon for like 117 bucks it wasn't too expensive are you are you popping the trunk can you hear anything he's saying he said if you get trapped in there you're just oh you're just yeah probably the car was leaking coolant i think it's from the radiator we got a new radiator we're going to replace the radiator today but first we actually got to get the car up in the air and take off some of the front. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get the battery charged, get the trunk open and go ahead and get started. So anyways, let's hop into it. <laughs> well, <laughs> turns out that the doors were just locked and I didn't even think about that. Nope. Anyways, check out this new cool radiator that we got you off Amazon. You let my Look at this, check this I'm out. You know, this thing is aluminum to my knowledge. It might be aluminum. It looks like aluminum welds, but I did notice that the entire thing is actually spray painted silver too. So that's something interesting to note. But regardless, we got a new aluminum radiator. This thing's gonna be pretty sweet. And honestly, I have no idea how to work on this car. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be doing some learning today. It's a Honda, it can't be that hard. You're right. So there is a wiring harness actually going underneath this that really well yeah so we'll just push those through i've heard if you want to make these work faster one. all you have to do is literally put them down between the two terminals and really it and it like it supercharges it gives them. It, yeah supercharge gives them a jolt of energy and it's just a you must have stuck it on the battery over here. yeah now will this come up no right here ah. there's one more tin oh. So three bolts in that. All three of those bolts are the same. So now this should still not come out. Okay, it looks like this metal piece going down the middle is attached somewhere else that is keeping this from coming up. So there's, oh, oh God. So the under shroud is actually zip tied up here. So we're gonna cut these zip ties and zip tie number two. Bro, this shit dusty as fuck under here. I'm gonna get some shit in my eye at some point. Uh. <laughs> Ah! Where did my where when you? Oh, it's on my chest. I'm good. I don't think I. Ah! Ah! Are you okay? Dirt. Let me see that. <laughs> the swivel. Yeah. If you got dirt in your eye, get a three eight swivel. Okay, should do it. Ah! Bro, this is so much fucking dirt. I didn't know there could be this much dirt just dropping in my face. Oh. Is it connected now? Is it? Yeah, we got it now. Okay, cool. One more bolt. Hey, you know what's funny? What? It smells like coolant under here. Uh -oh. ha! Yo, Nick, you want to pull that bitch up? That thing in the middle we were trying to pull up earlier. What do you think I'm talking about, man? I don't know, man. What thing are you talking about, actually? This? Yeah. That metal thing? Oh, that metal thing. Hold the on, hold on. Car's metal, this shit's rusted. Give me a second. I gotta use the. That metal thing. I hate you. You ain't hate me. No, but like. You just mad because we ain't on the same page. Yeah, your communication skills are so far. I don't know if I'm gonna put that one back in. I'm gonna be real. What one? That the one on the bottom? Yeah, the one I just took out. We just gotta figure out how to get these out. The fuck? What? All right, so that's got cables, um, two of them actually. So you could probably unhook it right there on one of them and the I got this. Okay, that harness is out. I'm trying to help okay. So you don't scream at me. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, so it's disconnected. That can sit in place. And this electronic connector does not come out of there. It's gotta come out from here. Bro, there ain't no fucking space. Get a Honda, they said. Hondas are easy to work on, they said. Hey, no, they didn't. They're cheap. That's okay, cheap. all right, all right. That's, that's true. You got me on that one. There we go. Now I think this can come out. Yeah, 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 boy. Think we're gonna need to pull the bumper? I don't know about pulling the bumper. Oh, shit. Yeah. oh yep, you're going through what I did. Except you don't have contacts in, do you? No. Oh. I'm gonna drink my coffee while you get that dirt out your eye. Yep. Nick, you still wanna put a turbo kit on this bitch? Oh, yes, I would love let me, let me see what you're pulling off. 
so I can bolts. show the viewers. You should probably do these. Okay, well then yeah, these corner pieces are gonna have to come out. Oh. That one broke. Lit. Oh, these are so dry, dude. Hell yeah. That's what she said. Oh, this is an old ass car. Bash bar it is. No, body kit. Give her the signature look. Body kit. Dude, there's so much dirt getting in our eyes. Fuck this. Oh my God, this bitch is part of the fender liner. Wait, it is? Oh my, who the fuck designed this? Honda's like, Honda, you piece of shit. Like, we'll make it all one piece, no problem. Take yeah. these bitches out. Yeah, let me fuck up this other push pin real quick. Oh, these are the ugly ass ones that don't come out. God damn it, here. Let me get my push pin puller. Oh, that one broke. Oh, cool, it's good to see that all the fucking plastic under here is so old it doesn't even work anymore. To be fair. Zip size it is. This thing is freaking 17 years old. So is my Z, and it does the same thing. There you go, what did you expect? <sighs> Nothing less. All right. That one broke too. Ooh, we got one more. That one broke too. You Here, try Let me this. tag you in on the, oh, 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 yes. There's so much dirt in my eye. Just work through the pain, sweetie. I need goggles. Entertainment value out the ass. You're gonna be a star. I got oh, the, fuck. yo, I got this side down. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. I'm just going through the sandstorm. The you... route. Sarah, queue up sandstorm. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Me and Nick are both here just trying to get shit out of our eyes. <laughs> Alright, well, there should be one left. Will the I whole should, thing come out now? I should have known. So that one's back in. Oh my. Okay. Alright, well, let's get this out of the way. Okay, so I found the drain. It's right here. You just unscrew this little piece and hopefully it doesn't break from being plastic. But besides that, you have all of the wiring harnesses uh, for the fan shroud that you have to figure out how to get off of the fan shroud. But conveniently, it's using the kind of push pins that you can't get to the opposite side of. So I'm not sure how to get the fan shroud out. Uh, so this just sucks. This just sucks a lot. Okay, me and Nick looked up a video and literally the only thing we found is that the bumper coming off will help. It looks like there is a single bolt or something under here we gotta get to somehow oh 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 spider web it's like cotton ah, it's on me. Ah! <laughs> i don't know about that one i'm scared to just pull on stuff ah it's a honda yeah i mean the worst thing that happens is you just break everything son you know why you're the greatest alive Fuck, My guess is that on the front, you just pull this bitch out. Nah, there's more. Because <laughs> it's so tempting just to pull on it and hopefully oh. it comes out. I'm not. Oh, I see it moving. Ah, nice. Oh. Oh. This looks like, oh, you do just pull it out. Oh. I got it. Hey, I removed my first Honda bumper. Yeah, all by myself. Ah, now it's time to drain the coolant. Ah, they put the frame literally right behind it, so it hits it and it's gonna splash everywhere. Oh, it's really cool. Have you tried to change the wall filter? Check this out. No, I don't want- They have a reoccurring pattern they like to fucking do. Really? Which is just put shit in the way? Oh yeah, the frames, the frame rail's in the fucking way, so when you go to change the oil filter, it's just like straight in the middle of your pore, it gets split by the fucking frame rail. Oh, so. wow. <gasps> wow. That is so cool. I've never seen it leak like that before. Oh, that's actually really cool. Right, I'm gonna pull the radiator cap so that way it'll drain faster. Go Honda, I'm sorry we were talking mad shit about you. No, I still talk mad shit about it. All right, we're going for it. All the biscuits. Yeah. Ah, so, ah. Ah. Oh my, that was a mistake. Ah. Mistakes, ah. let go of it. Oh let go, you're pulling it too far too. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Come see. Let me show you where this thing cracked. I found it. It's, it's really not hard to spot, honestly, if you're looking at it pretty closely, because there's only one spot on here that's wet. Hmm. There's like a pretty clean split right across the center right there. Yeah, that's it. There we go. There you go. Now you see the crack. How did that happen, I wonder? It probably just, it gets old. That's actually why people switch to aluminum radiators is because the composite or plastic that's on the top and bottom of these actually gets old and it'll crack. So I guess the plan of attack at this point, we're probably going to leave the fan shroud in the car exactly in place. And then we're gonna disconnect the radiator from that, pull the radiator out, slip the new one in, hook everything back up where it's supposed to go, fill it with coolant. Hopefully that works. <clears throat> Getting that hose off and then and I get the hose off the bottom. Wow, this is a really shitty spot for this. How the f am I supposed to get that? What are you trying to do? 
How you doing down there, buddy? I'm doing. How you doing up there? I'm doing great up here. Let's go, man. I'm up here making the pizzas. I'm gonna bring them home to the family. Yeah. Dude, I fucking hate radiator hoses. Yeah. I hate OEM radiator. No, I just hate radiator hoses, actually. I'm really sad that this shit's just not coming off. Dude, this shit is literally just not coming off. I can't get this shit off. Oh, you want to try? Oh, you think you're hot shit? You think you're hot shit, huh? I wonder if I can just... Eh. So, yeah. Bro. With new hoses or no? Yes, I have new hoses for it. Then cut that bitch. I don't want to just cut that bitch. You want a pocket knife here? Yeah. I really feel like we're, you're setting the precedent here for the rest of this build. <laughs> like. Motherfucker. You're almost done. Oh, this shit's disgusting. We're almost over yet. Oh, look at there. Pull that shit out. Try and pick it up. Oh my god, Daniel, look, I pulled my first radiator all by myself. Hell yeah, dude. Are you proud? Take a picture. I'm so, oh, I'll take a picture. Stand in front of the car. I got you, bro. It's funny because you can see through the radiator. Oh, can you really? Yeah. Can you see me? Yes, I will actually post that on Instagram later. <laughs> he caught his first big one. So actually check out the difference between these two. It's pretty cool. Any aluminum aftermarket radiator you get is always going to be pretty much thicker, like a lot thicker. Oh, Turn yeah. it sideways. Oh yeah. Look at how much thicker a, this is. This is a lot. I'm so sorry. It's okay. That was only kind of bright. Yeah, boy. I am spewing juices everywhere. Remove that shit. Oh, you're getting rusty juices everywhere. Go put it somewhere. Where do you want it? I don't know, over by the door. We need to swap out the radiator hoses. I'll do that real quick. Oh, the corrosion. Oh, that bitch looks nasty. Lovely. Terrifying. What? It's like it's like holding a fucking bomb. This is really terrifying. I don't know how to do this. Oh, I see. Yeah, it so it do. locks in place. I don't know how to get it to go back down though. Will it break anything? No, my no, I won't break. Yeah, it's just gonna do that. Yeah, boy. Ah. Uh, Strength. E. Okay, let's swap over the clamps now. Let's go Razorback. Derek would have just creamed. We heard you say that. What the f are you doing? <laughs> Seriously, it looks we like got that. both of them on there. Give me those hoses. I gotta swap the clamps. Which which one you want to put back on, Chief? I'll try Big Boy. All right. So it goes. Good choice. Like yep, this, just, right? just like that. All right, all the new hoses are in place. Now we can drop our cheap ass radiator back in. This is the tricky part is all this shit sticking out, getting past the shrouds. Yeah. I think we can. I'll just have to hold the shrouds. Back. Mm -hmm. Hold them forward. Actually, hold on. It looks like um, just pull? the petcock, the thing that is the yeah. drain. I need to take that off because it's too long. I'm out. What is that thing called? The petcock. Petcock. Yes, I thought it was weird too whenever I found that out. Okay, just make sure it hurts you mm -hmm. correctly. Pull your pet cock out. I'm pulling my pet cock out. I hate it, nope. Okay, this side's under. Woo. Come on, get on there. It's just tight. <sighs> Hang on. The only problem is that the hose is fucking slippery. All right, drop it down, whatever. Ah, let's see, lock this down. Hang on, hang on, don't move. Okay, it's on it good enough, it looks like. Welcome to good enough performance. Good enough perform. Actually, that's pretty catchy. That's pretty funny. Thanks. Ah, fucking shit. What? God damn it. I forgot to put the motherfucking coolant temp sensor in the radiator. Ah, I also found out something. This goes underneath the radiator. So hold on. What does? These little things on the bottom. I'm gonna just go underneath like I have been doing and keep putting on things that I'm discovering we forget. And you pick it up as high as you can. Oh yeah, perfect. That's all I got. That's all I need. Um, the fan shroud is definitely not up against the radiator like it's supposed to be. So we'll have to just keep an eye on coolant temps, make sure that shit don't overheat. The fitment is not too great, my friend. Holy shit, that's not one to start. It's yeah. got enough poke, but it just ain't working. <laughs> So why is this not going down any further? Is it it's hitting something? I think it's because this shroud is sticking out too far. Is the shroud on where it's supposed to? Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my God, this is garbage, dude. Wow, this fitment is actually garbage. I've never in my life said, do not buy this product, but this will probably be the first time that I'm saying, spend the money on a nicer radiator. Look at these, the difference. These mount points are so much more flush. Oh, yeah. Man, they don't stick out like these motherfuckers stick out like a whole half inch. You're right. Like, why would they do that? And, yep. 
Oh, you're gonna need a hammer or something. Hold on. Oh shit, we got the hyper tough. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Now it's broken loose. Oh, this shit smells dusty as fuck. God. Oh, it smells like an old tire shop. Oh, it smells like an old job I used to have. I'm gonna put some of this on there just to be safe. Teflon tape? Yeah, just, just for, because I don't know how long that O-ring is gonna last. That should be plenty. Okay, so now I need to get back underneath again and remove the freaking... Hey, hey. You know what the good part is? What? There's a part on this car that now looks shiny and clean and new. Even though it's just spray painted silver. And it's a piece of shit with fitment. White claw. There's white. no law. <laughs> white claw. <laughs> no laws in white claw. Yeah, there's no no laws when you're drinking claws, boy. Yeah. Which means this car is just going to be an absolute Saturday day drinking shit show. Oh my God, please. I imagine people who drink white claws are also the people who say it's low calorie. Jesus. All right, Um, that big, uh, the fucking war hammer that you were holding, you want to slip it back in? Just, what does that mean? Slip it back in? Yeah, slip it back in so that way we can get it lined up. No, the fuck. Um, the metal piece that goes in between the fans. I was like, dude, it's a hyper tough claw hammer. What do you mean, giant war hammer? Yeah, that. This thing. Yeah, slip it back down. I'll guide it into place down here. You know what this looks like? like it looks like a uterus. Yep. That's what it's called. Is it? Will it go further? Hold on, Captain. Oh, guess what's in the way? The shitty fitment of this fucking reservoir up here. Really? Yes, sir. I need like another half inch. That's all I got. No more PP left. All right, shit. Let me let me come look. That motherfucker right there is half inch too long. So I wonder if we took that off. Ah, yeah. uh, the reservoir is fucking bolted in right there. That doesn't allow this side to go down further. Right. So really, just the fitment's all around fucking ass. It started there. So it sounds like we should just take out the bolts. How the fuck are you supposed to? Bet. So you have to twist it to fit between the shroud. There you go. Okay. Bitch, bet. Watch out. Actually, I fucking got this. The shroud is what's gonna have to float. Well, it's not the shroud that has to float. I need to get this part down. So if I take this out, put a bolt in its place, and then let this hang and just float in between here, we can probably just zip tie it to where it doesn't touch anything. Ah, fuck it. White claw. White claw. No laws. Yep, no laws. All right, where's a wrench? So that will be able to push down. Ha! See, that's the trick. So we'll just put that behind it. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Fuck yeah. That's what makes it work. I um, believe we got everything. Everything is just resting in place now. So we should be able to fire it up and see if it works. Work. All right then. Oh yeah. It's all right. Yeah. It'll be fine. You just got to pour coolant in so it doesn't overheat. Dope. The hoe dead. So I will probably go ahead and start this car up, I guess. Here you go. Oh boy. Yeah. That sounds like a thrill. It's always a good time. Weird. Is it a neutral? You sure? The wheels are spinning. Yeah, it's in neutral. What the fuck? Why are the wheels spinning? Stop it. All right. Yeah, why is it spinning? It's because the transmission's cold. It, do, it just does that. So anyways, oh, this is fucking got dirt and shit in it. Yeah, white claw, baby. Uh, you thirsty, bitch? Honestly, bro, this looks like some Kool-Aid. I kind of want to try some. Nope. Am I down for some jello shots? Nope. Is this supposed to not be? Yeah, it's going to take a second to drink all that up. And then as it's continuing to suck it up, it'll pull all that back down. And it should, in theory, drink all of this because that's exactly what came out of it. The car has been running for probably like 30 minutes now and the fans finally turned on and they turned on for like a total of four seconds and then shut back off. Huh? Honda. Hon Honda. Yes. The gap in between the fan shroud and the radiator, probably like an inch to like half an inch varying across the entire thing. But um, it seems like it's working fine. It's not going to be as efficient as if it was sealed properly, but 
I don't think the car is gonna overheat. So to continue on with this, Nick actually left because he had to go see some family, but we're gonna go ahead and start wrapping this up and get it back together so that way we can take it on the test drive. All we have to do is actually just bolt this back down so that way the radiator is held in place. I'm gonna close this off and pick it up so that way we can actually get the radiator cap back on and everything else is going to just get put back together probably off camera and uh, whenever you see this car again, it'll be back together on the ground with me and Nick taking it for its first drive. So anyways, see y'all then. Oh boy, it's hot as Oh shit, I get to whip the Porsche. Weird thing about this Porsche actually is the key goes in on the left side. Probably one of the weirdest things I've ever seen from a car. Just, just saying. There we go. Get this bad boy out of here. Nick, I like your Porsche. Yeah, Acura time. Ooh, tight fit. Yeah, Acura gang, what's up? Ooh, she got some scoot to her. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff actually in the back of the car I need to take out. Let me grab my coffee. Since this car actually has cup holders, we'll go ahead and take it for a spin, drive it around town. <coughs> <coughs> oh shit. Oh shit, look at it. Look at the little thing. Oh dude, like the most convenient storage for drinks. Here we go. So the car has oil. I've already verified that the car has oil in it. Dude, this is fucking awesome. I am about to daily the shit out of this. Ah. Oh, this is it. This is the shit. So the car has a little bit of vibrations. It definitely needs to have the wheels balanced. Ah. Rev matching in this thing is like pretty much a breeze. Dude, this thing is cake to drive. This is literally probably the easiest car I've ever driven. I thought the Mustang was easy to drive, but this is way easier. Very nice white claw, very, very nice. Hey, are you home? Can you open the garage? <laughs> well, you guys get to see my house for the first time. Congratulations. <laughs> Sarah, has, she was not expecting me to pull up in this thing. <laughs> What's up? It made it here. Yep, um, the wheels the wheels need to be balanced and it needs an alignment. But besides that, it's fine. It just leaks a lot. Anyways, I just came to get that package and uh, show you the car. Well, everybody, hello. This is uh, your first time seeing the house. Not the official house tour, but... Not the official house tour, my is Yeah, it's okay. But, all right, thank you for the package. So the reason I came home to get this package, we're not gonna do anything with it right now but I actually ordered a bunch of plastic push pins to actually replace all the old, broken, fragile ones that are in this car. Plus, it's just good to have some on hand in case you ever need to replace any. All right, now let's head back to the shop. Ooh, shit, actually, I'm gonna pick up a smoothie. I stalled the car. Oh, I can't wait to take this fucking car to autocross and shit and see how it does. I've never actually had the chance to drive a front wheel drive car in autocross. I have no idea how a front wheel drive car will do because I've just never gotten the chance to experience it. I've never ridden in one. I've never driven one. I have found the limits of what a real wheel drive car can do. I know how they respond to certain input. I'm really interested to see what this one does. It's like, I don't know if you can spin out in a front wheel drive car. I have no idea. So. I guess I'll find out one day. Gonna get a smoothie. Ooh. Oh, this is not what I expected. Ah, that is what I expected. So yeah, so we got a whole bunch of plastic push pins. Those are the ones that I'm looking for. I need those. I also need these. Also need these. Dude, I buy so much shit off of Amazon. They have literally everything. Hello. Thank you. You too. Ooh, got that coffee delight, boy. Mmm, shit slaps. All right, so we're getting somewhere. So we can actually do a pull, heading back up to my shop. I'm gonna make sure that I do a pull going 
over the hill so that way if something breaks for any reason we can at least coast back to the shop i'm very interested to see what this 200 horsepower vtec is all about so let's see we'll do a second gear pull now i was also told that third gear grinds a little bit so okay maybe we'll do first we'll see interesting so there is like very interesting noise whenever the car gets into VTEC I'm pretty sure these engines get to VTEC at like 5500 rpm and you can hear it you can really hear whenever it starts I don't know if that noise I was hearing was just the change in intake because the car does have an intake on it so you're gonna hear it a little bit more but regardless um, I don't know if that noise is something I was supposed to be hearing. But one of uh, one of the things that we're gonna be doing to the car soon will actually be adjusting the valves to make sure that uh, all the clearances are right inside of the engine. So whenever we get to that next time, it'll be a little bit invasive. But anyways, that was dope. The car has been doing really well. Hell yeah, dude. White Claw is back. Well, White Claw never really was here, but White Claw is officially here running. We can drive it and make some content on the channel, dude. Fuck yeah. This is exciting. Oh yeah, White Claw. White Claw, baby. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be pretty much a wrap for this video. So before we actually go, I want to propose a few things. So we have a bunch of parts for this car that we can still install. Like we have racing seats we can put in. We have new harnesses. I actually also have a watt box to add a two-step to this car too that we can put on. I have a turbo guard that we can actually remove this intake and put just on the Pro Charger itself. Then there's also Gary over here who's just been collecting dust. We need to fix him and get him running and start actually doing something with that. And then there's also this car just got on the channel so we got to start doing stuff with that and then there's actually payday outside which we have a few parts for got a new spoiler got some parts coming it's going to get lowered so we got four vehicles to make content with right now let me know what car you guys want to see the most content on at the moment and if you don't know already i am streaming pretty much every single night at 9 p.m central on twitch that is all for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it leave a like on this video because it helps me out subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i I will see you guys next time.